Let's talk about bow chatter. That's right, I said bow chatter. That's kind of a funny term, isn't it? Well, think about if you're really, really cold and your teeth chatter, right? That's a chattering sound. Bow chatter happens, well, bow chatter, my friends, it happens when we're thinking too much about it. When we're thinking about maybe what we're reading on the page, or when we're thinking about keeping our bow straight and not having it go like this or like this. Um, if we're thinking about, I don't know, what's for lunch. <laughs> Anything that gets in the way of our bow stroke slows it down. And if my bow stroke is slowing down, it begins to sound a little shaky, doesn't it? Now, I'm going to try my best to approximate a bow stroke that has some chatter in it. Um, and this is not going to sound pretty. I'll take a very simple melody. I'll take Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. And I'll play it with some chatter. And you can watch this bow stroke and uh, see how it shakes and jumps and how it's not confident. And then when that happens, I'm going to, and I usually do this instinctively as a player, I pull through that. It's kind of like steering into a skid with my car. If my car were to skid on some snow or some ice, I would turn the steering wheel into the skid and it would right itself. Well, if I chatter, my thought might be to stop my bow, but no, I need to pull it faster. Twinkle, twinkle, then. Might even get a little scratchy. All of these things can happen. It could even get even. All of these things can happen. I know they happen when you're first learning, when they're first starting. I'm a fiddle teacher. That's part of my job, and I help people with this all the time. When you feel and hear that starting to happen, I want you to... Don't slow down because when you slow down, and when you're thinking too much, ah, <laughs> just push and pull. If the engine isn't running, then it really doesn't matter what gear we put it into, does it? We've got to pull and push, and this thing's got to keep moving to make the sound on the strings. And when you do that, you know, it, it kind of helps. It hides a multitude of sins, as I always like to say. Even if your fingers are not going in the right spot sometimes, or maybe your bow is a little crooked, as long as you keep it moving, you're going to make the sound, and you can make the adjustments that you need. So don't give in to bow chatter. Push and pull your way through it. And remember, bow chatter is the sound of us thinking just a little too much. We've spent quite a bit of time 
learning how to stop the bow during a rest. And we've practiced moving it from one string to the other, using our elbow to move it from the G string to the D to the A to the E string. Now I'm going to teach you how to lift your bow because sometimes a phrase starts with a down bow. And we need to restart it. With another down bow. So the ability to play two downs in a row is really, really important in fiddling. Oh, and in all bowed instruments, uh, fiddling, uh, violin, viola, cello, and bass, and all styles, classical, jazz, pop, and uh, folk styles as well. We won't find too many up bows, but we will find many down bows. And I like to call it a bow circle. Let's practice right now making a bow circle with the D string and half notes. Ready? And one, two, bow circle. One, two, bow circle. Circle, one, two, bow, and the A string. And the G. And the E string. Very good. Excellent. Practice that as often as you care to and for as long as you want. Um, practice it while you're watching, looking out the window. Uh, while you're watching the grass grow, uh, practice it while, I don't know, um, while just sitting peacefully in your favorite spot. Just practice that over and over again. And when your mind starts to wander, when you start to think about something else, that's going to build excellent motor memory. A few exercises on lifting the bow. We will start, of course, with the metronome at 56. We will start with uh, four quarters on the D string, followed by two A's at half notes. Four quarters on the D string, followed by one A with a half rest where we will lift our bow. Are you ready? Are you sure? <laughs> okay, fine then. Here we go. One, two, you know what to do and... Same pattern, starting on the G string. Two, a ready, play. One more time on the A and E.